to talk about it. Yeah, you're my last thing, you know, because by the way, and to this individual, brother, brother, I don't think you know too much of my history. I think you might be new to this YouTube stuff. I've been doing YouTube for like ten or twelve years. I don't play with kid gloves. I don't play with kid gloves. So like, I seen you mention my name in a very disparaging way, and I know you are um, somebody who's, I think you know, comrades of the Fresh and Fit show. So I'm gonna uh, I'm, I'm gonna uh, allow you some grace, cause I like them. But in some of the accusations you made about me, there's nothing that comes with snake when you talk about me, and I usually react with a lot of vitriol, hate, targeted obsession when people talk about me like this. But I'm gonna give you the I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually give you the grace this time around. But I might even change my tune in the next couple of minutes. And I don't want to keep talking about this too too long. Um, I see so many people with so many criticisms. Chat, anytime I'm doing these things, I feel like I'll be like turning to the Hulk. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to chill. Yeah, I'm not trying. I'm not trying to violate this this guy like that. But he's he seems very um um misinformed. Very very misinformed. I will also just to that to that individual. Boy, when you talk about me, put some respect on my name, man. Like, th this is my new thing, man. I've been doing YouTube for ten or twelve years, man. Y'all niggas ain't gonna, ain't nobody in this bitch gonna try a little nigga me, man. Man, fresh and fit when they was no, w w w fresh and fit with chat niggas, man. The, the, the audacity, you you bitch ass hoe ass niggas who even think that a nigga like me could have a jealous bone in my body. I birthed a lot of these niggas, man. I've been doing this shit for ten or twelve years, nigga. Nigga, nigga, even that bum ass nigga who talking about me, nigga, you ain't even hit my thirty years statistics, nigga. The fuck is you talking about, boy? Just, just chill out. But it ain't about you, cause you a bum, and I will get, I will get, I love, I go at anybody. And I would sit here and <laughs> I got all the time in the world. Just remember this. Like, y'all got to stop with this disrespectful shit, man. Like, oh, my God. He, I think he's like, a, he's like a snake. He's like, he's jealous of them. Boy, you know what I've done accomplished in this fucking game, man? Man, I set the blueprint for niggas to, to even cross over, bro. At least on an on a, on a urban cultural level, nigga. Some shit y'all shouldn't even associate with my name. Y'all should, you should like, the reason why nobody talking about you and they talking about them is because of niggas like me, boy. After this shit happened. That Manosphere shit y'all got going on, that shit is for the birds, nigga. That shit not mainstream, nigga. Nobody knows you, nigga. Fresh and Fit wasn't being on the shade room before me, nigga. Y'all niggas got to watch how y'all talk about me. I'm not no hanger on or no bum nigga. Boy, I'm culture nigga. All the problems y'all talking about, stay in the manosphere with that shit. I don't fuck about none of y'all niggas in that shit. I see my guys who's, who clearly wanted to get on a mainstream level. All these problems y'all keep talking about with them with, and I tell them to their face. The problems fresh and fit running into... Y'all got to pick a side. Y'all want to get mainstream or y'all want to stay in this manosphere? Manosphere is going to be for dick suckers like that bitch ass nigga Rolo to whatever the fuck his name is. Y'all ain't mainstream. It's the reason why you ain't ever heard no criticism about you, you hoe ass nigga. Because nobody talk about you but your dick suckers. Them niggas wanted to go mainstream. You don't bring academics on your show if you don't want mainstream attention. You ain't seen Fresh and Fit on TMZ before academics. They don't care what you talking about, nigga. You can write 30 books. <laughs> when academics go on there and something happen, TMZ's on it. Y'all boys, stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. I'm devious with this shit.
I do this for a living. I get the best advice to Fresh and Fit. I told him, I said, listen, deactivate from certain shit. Y'all not built for that. Y'all do relationship shit. I love, I love going back and forth with YouTubers. Chat, name one, name one beef I lost. I treated shit like a gladiator. I took everybody on. Destroyed them all, nigga. Ten years later. Still here on top. They not me. I told them, don't do that. Stay away from race. Don't go at Abba and preach, whatever these niggas are. Y'all not going to do it like I'm going to do it. Because if them niggas, if, if it was me and them niggas, I'm tearing them apart limb by limb. I can't let no nigga get no one up on me. But that's not y'all. I'm going to give you the best advice. So for you pussy niggas like Rolo Tomasi or whatever the fuck you, your name is, nigga, keep my fucking name out your fucking mouth and don't ever bring up Snake and, and ever impugn my integrity with shit that would seem that I would try to undermine somebody who's coming up, usually at the tutelage and the advice that I've been giving them because if you want to go speak properly, tell them niggas stop trying to fuck with mainstream. Fresh and Fit will have zero problems if they don't fuck with the mainstream. You fuck with academics, Shade Room gonna be right behind it. They're not gonna like you. They don't like Manosphere. If you don't want no problems, don't come to the mainstream. <laughs> Nobody will fuck with y'all. You will have issues. You will have your audience to be good. But I see that bitch ass nigga was like, yo, some whole ass nigga, man, some corny nigga like, yo, yo, I could walk them into the lion's den. Nigga, I called them niggas up before they went on, went on flagrant. Yo, let me just let y'all niggas know this right now. Be on y'all shit because them niggas is comedians. I did flagrant too. It's for them. Conversation coming from left, that's where Andrew's at. Right, that's where Akash is at. And the two other niggas over there, they're all hitting you. They got inside jokes, everything. They could get their way. It's 4v1. Nigga, y'all see how I give I give it up when I went into Adam's platform. Nigga, when I went into Adam's platform, it's going to the lion's den, nigga. Nigga, but I got to be academics wherever. You see, when I go on Fresh and Fit, nigga, I take that shit over, nigga. It's my shit now. Anywhere I go, my shit. I got to be a gladiator, nigga. So I, I told him, nigga, I said, bro, y'all going on there. They tell me they going on there. Nigga, I try to... Fresh called me a month ago. I always tell the truth. Niggas know the fact. Fresh called me a month ago. Act, could you? This is after I went on flagrant. Act, could you get me on flagrant? Nigga, I made the call for him. That's what I keep saying. You pussy ass nigga roller, whatever the fuck your name is, get your facts right, bitch. I don't set niggas up. Them niggas want to fuck with mainstream outlets. Not, I ain't tell them to do shit. So, Fresh called me up. Act, you just went on flagrant. How can I get on flagrant? I put him on a text right then. Nigga, I'm no hater. If I'm a hater or a snake, I don't put no niggas on no text. Act like I'm trying to like, nigga, bum-ass, bitch-ass nigga. Act like, yo, nigga, you know what I accomplished in this game? For me to be jealous or caring about another nigga's success? Nigga, I put him on a text right then. Nigga, Andrew ain't even want to do this shit at that point. But I made the effort because that's my man's fresh. He said, I ain't want to do it. If I was a snake, I would be like, oh, I'm going to do it. And never put them. I put them on text as soon as he said it. Bang. I just came on Vlad. Fresh said, yo, how do I get on Vlad? I put him on a text right away. Bang. Vlad passed on it. That's a fact. Vlad passed on it. Nigga, what could I do? I did my part. I'm not telling niggas to go nowhere. I tell them, bruh. Y'all have a message that's potent that the mainstream audience is not ready for. Your audience is. You keep going towards mainstream, you're going to the fire. If you're down the handle of the fire, you're down the box with everybody coming at you, let's go. I'm, I'm rocking with y'all. They catch heat? Did I do some bitch nigga shit? Did I say I don't fuck with them? Nope. They catch heat. Did I do some bitch nigga shit? Did I say, oh, they come to New York. They wasn't coming to New York for me. They came to New York for flagrant. That was without me. Flagrant hit them up without me. After I made the introduction months ago, and they wasn't going to do it. Cool. 
They coming because of, now they coming because of flagrant. I could say y'all in hot water. I don't want to fuck with y'all. I'm worried about the brand. It's the brand of academics. Nigga, I'm on Spotify. Nigga, what I do? Of course I'm going to do an episode with y'all niggas. Come on, let's run this shit. Let's run it. I'm just trying to tell y'all, you got some clown ass nigga, Rolo, whatever the fuck your name is, nobody knows you. Let me tell you that, you bitch ass nigga. Nobody knows you, nigga. You a bum. You a 55-year-old bum who just sit there who think you some godfather. You wrote some shitty book and you think, niggas, you control shit. No, you fucking dummy. How your young bulls pass you? I make sure my young bulls, I keep my foot on their necks. Any young bull I ever had, I put my foot on their necks. You taught them niggas three lessons in karate and they whipped your ass already. Get the fuck on out of here. You a bum. You talking about them like you still a teacher. They not listening to you no more. You know why? Because they, the, they see the bright lights. You know what the bright lights is? It's the bright lights of stardom. It's the bright lights of the podcast world, which has opened up beyond the manosphere because you don't go viral, nigga, for all the shit you done talked you ain't went viral one time to, to the point that I had them going viral with the Britney Renner shit. You ain't did it once in your life. You just sitting there talking to niggas. Go focus on your wife, nigga, little nigga. You just running your mouth. Them boys, I don't. they might have looked up to you. But if you want to give them advice, don't say I can snake. I'm not no snake. I will never take that from a bitch nigga like you. Tell them, stop chasing the mainstream. If you want to go anywhere where the shade room is going to be at TMZ, that's mainstream. They will never be accepting of that argument of how y'all are giving it up. I like your argument. But when I watch the Fresh and Fit, they say, listen with your headphones in. You know why? Because they know if, you, if, if it's a bunch of shade room people, they're not going to fuck with it. So if y'all going to go into some situations where there's going to be shade room type shit, there's going to be mainstream type shit, you're going to get backlash. I respect Fresh and Myron because they're down to box. They're down to box. Niggas like you is too pussy to do it because you can't eloquently talk about shit, motherfucker. We seen Kevin Samuels do it, nigga. You acting like you some fucking big godfather, nigga. You just a fucking bum just talking to... Nigga, you talking in the corner of the room while your wife over there probably getting a boo cocky, nigga. That's what the fuck going on, nigga. You over here acting like you some... Boy, don't, nigga, keep my fucking name out your damn mouth, nigga. You must think the type of respect other niggas got for you is over here. And you know, when I talk, nobody tell me shit. And anybody who and anybody who want to step up for you get violated too. Anybody, you know how? Everybody know I rock. I've been rocking this way for ten fucking years. I like it. Just don't ever put, associate my name with no snake. When I'm googling my name and I see a bum nigga, I'm like, who the fuck is this? Snake, snake, snake. Don't let me start violating you, nigga. That fucking red pill you fucking have must be an anal beating your wife's ass, nigga. Stop fucking playing with a nigga like me, bro. Don't mention me no more. Whatever you got with Fresh and Fit, my nigga, that's what you got with them. You not gang over here, nigga. And don't mention my name with no type of snakes. That's not my type of shit. You hear me? But I welcome you to continue this because I love to violate. This is my specialty. What Fresh and Fit specialty is, what they do. I love it here. Hopefully you have an audience who can rock with you. Bitch ass nigga, man.
Bum ass nigga, man. You should have heard how this nigga told mommy. He said, oh, by the way, I kiss a snake. It's, it's not your fault. Nigga, I'm over here. I'm like, I'm over here like, who's that? Who's that? Who's Who's Fuck it. Fuck that nigga, man. Nigga wrote a fucking book. And niggas read the first three pages and lapped his ass on YouTube, man. Shut the fuck up. New op pack in the air, man. Smoking on that Rulu Tumasi, man. That's what it is, man. Tell nigga to suck a cock. Academics don't like him or nothing about him. We don't accept no snake type of behavior. We don't fuck with that. And we just we like to disrespect. That's what we like to do. Disrespect is our first form of defense. We meet disrespect with greater and exponential disrespect. Okay? Let me get thought. <laughs> Nigga be like, yo, I wrote the book that, that the Manosphere is based on. Shut the fuck up, nigga. I don't care what respect Fresh Admiring got for you. To me, you a bitch. Now, anytime my name come up, nigga, just skip past it and just grit your teeth. What the fuck is this nigga talking about? All that snake shit. You ever heard me being a snake? Nigga, I'll be so transparent. Nigga. Nigga. When, nigga, I could show you fresh messages. Your fresh hit me about everything. Boy, this is why I can't understand. Like, and by the way, this ain't that fresh and fit, because this is my this is my homies. But for you bitch ass niggas who gonna speak on it, y'all gonna really have to speak on what it really is. Nigga, I'm the one who, yo, yo, we talked to Kodak. We said, Kodak, yo, you know. They allowed us to use the studio. Could you just hang out for the, for the episode? Whatever. They had girls coming right away. Bro, without me, that don't happen, my nigga. How am I a snake? I gave them a look to snake them? Like, what type of dumb shit you want, you bitch-ass nigga? I gave them a look to snake them? Just think about this shit. Y'all got to start checking these niggas. I just been working for too long to hear that I'm over here trying to do cheap moves with niggas that like like with all due respect like brother I've made it to the mainstream I've made it to the mainstream already there's nothing that fresh and fit has that I want Nothing. If anything, I would like to help them. You know why? Because when I see like-minded, well, I wouldn't say like-minded, but when I see people who are building their own individual empires, and I love about this new new wave, and that's why Rulu or whatever the fuck your name is, you 70 nigga, we don't give a fuck about you. I don't consider, like, you're not part of that wave to me. These are all people who, like, we all got to band together because... Yeah, I might have made it out of certain extremes with like, you know, the internet being my back in. And now I've, I'm on Spotify and I do a bunch of other things. And by the way, Rulu, you bum ass, bitch ass nigga. Told my older oh, video never came out. You bitch, it did come out. It's on Spotify exclusively, nigga. I'm not like you while you listen to your wife in there getting a the fucking bukkake begging for donations, bitch. I don't do that shit. I kick my feet up. I tell my niggas we over here cooling. Chat niggas we lit. Fuck am I doing? You gonna say, oh, hey guys, are you wanna you wanna super chat? Fuck out of here, nigga. Do what I fucking want. You know why? Because I ain't you. The video was out, but it's exclusive to Spotify. They paid for it. Millions for it. So how about your fucking old ass get a fucking subscription to Spotify Premium, go to Off The Record, hit the notification bell, and the next time I do some shit like that, your bitch ass will be able to see this shit in fucking 4K. Show you what he said? Tell, 
Yeah, I should show this bitch ass nigga. So, you know, yeah, I gotta show it. You know, you know what? I wasn't gonna show it, but when I don't show it, they be like, yo, why he so mad? Yeah, I gotta show it. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna show it. But when I don't, they be like, yo, why why is he so mad? Let me just show you for all the things that I feel like and I feel like it's mutual. With me with me and Fresh and Fit, I feel like they've helped me, I've helped them. They've given me a place to record, and when I could plug them in with situations, I plug them in with situations, all right? Hold on, hold on. Matter of fact, now, I'm just going to salute to Reddit. Reddit always got it. Yo, I got to build up my Reddit, yo. Why the DJ get them as Reddit ain't slapping like that? Here we go. I got to get online and see a bum-ass nigga like this talk about a nigga like me. Nigga, you fucking stupid. Nigga, the reason why after that Ava and whatever the fuck these niggas are shit happened... Well, you kept seeing guest after guest and niggas is making connections and doing good. I ain't say, yo, Myron's a beast. Fresh, he a real nigga. But nigga, I'm trying to help connect shit. Niggas gonna come out of their side of their face so my I'm a snake. Why would I help niggas if I'm snaking them? Where's this bitch ass nigga? Where is it at? I'm, I'm, I'm a father. This is the whole ass nigga right here. This is him right here. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna play the clip that he said it. I couldn't believe it. I almost slapped him through the screen. Almost slapped this nigga through the screen. This nigga started putting snake with my name? God damn, they got a lot of shit on this shit. God damn. Oh my God. Where did I see that? My bad, chat. Hey, yo, we gonna blame, we gonna blame, let me see. We won't blame whoever was the person to uh <laughs> to bring this up. I told you, brother. I want to talk about this shit, man. I was about to just chill. Wait, wait, what the fuck? I can't find it. I don't know. It was one of them, man. Some weird ass nigga, man. The nigga said I set them up by putting them on uh, on flagrant. No bitch ass nigga. Flagrant hit them up directly. I tried to put them on flagrant when Fresh asked me months ago. Then he said, oh, I surprised. Nigga, when I talk to, yo, I don't lie. Nigga never say academics lie. When the Britney Renner shit, I I call Britney Renner. I said, yo, I think it would be good if y'all do an episode together. I tell Fresh. I said, Fresh. I call him. The first words I say to him, I said, you ready to go viral? He said, he said what's up? He said, yo, while y'all in New York, I know y'all want to do a regular episode with me. We could do that. But. I think it would be dope if we have you and Myron debate Britney Renner. I'll be the media just like I did with 6 9 and Wack. And and he was like, oh, shit. He's like, yo, will she come? I said, nigga, will she come? I said, Britney, Britney fucks with me. Nigga, she looks at me like a nigga like, yo, nobody knows content like Ack. So if I call Britney, I said, Britney, let's do this. Britney's like, all right, yo, Ack, if you think this is, let's do it. All right, cool. So now I'm telling Fresh, I'm like, you want to, like, is this cool? He's like, yeah, he's like, yo, this is going to be lit. I said, I bet. Uh, I, I, I was like, yo, tell Myron. He said, no, 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 no. He said, he said no, actually, yeah. He said, should I, should I tell Myron? I said, what you mean? I said, of course. That's your teammate, whatever. He said, bro, don't tell Myron because Myron, I know him. He might not do it. I'm like, why not? He's like, uh, because Brittany didn't do her sh their show before. I don't know what the fuck he was talking about. But he was like, yo, don't say nothing to Myron. You know Myron better than me. I want to tell y'all. If you don't want to tell your man, that's you. But I want to tell y'all. I'm not trying to set nobody up. <laughs> like, like niggas, when niggas start saying words like setting up and snake, Rolo, you a bitch, niggas. Don't be talking about me like that, nigga. Fuck is you talking about, you goofy? Tell me I'm over here setting niggas up. Let me see if I can find this shit. Man, I can't even... When was this shit? Somebody send me the link, man. Bro, I don't want to listen to all this shit. Man. Uh, I don't know. Anybody got a link? Somebody said check this one. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. Send it to me this one, man. Bitch ass nigga just talking out of the side of his neck. I wasn't going to respond to this clown-ass nigga, but I'm like, yo, this nigga talking like he's some fucking guru. Whole-ass nigga talking like he's some fucking guru, man. 
Oh, yeah, I warned him. I warned him about academics. Bitch, fuck is you talking about? Look at this bitch ass thing. Listen, listen to this whole ass thing right here, Chad. With that in mind, I also need to add one more caveat to today's show. Uh, honestly, I think DJ Academics it does not have Myron and Fresh's best interests in mind. Whole ass nigga, let me just tell you this right now. I don't I don't plan nothing for them niggas. If them niggas yo, yo, honestly, if you ask me, I don't think Fresh and Fit should be having rappers on. Like, I don't think it helps their views. I say that to them in their face. I don't think when viral moments bubble up with rappers, it helps them because their message isn't mainstream. I don't think it's good at all. But if they ask me for help, nigga, I'm not nobody daddy. They ain't come out of my balls. Yo, act. Yo, could you try to get 6 9 on here? All right, I'll try. Y'all my mans. Because when I come down there and if I say, yo, can I use that studio? Y'all be like, yo, act, of course. They never say no. They never like, yo, Act, I don't think no. So when they ask them, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, of course. Now, I just don't think rappers go well with their shit, especially female rappers. I told Fresh that though. So this thing is acting like I'm over here masterminding shit. What type of bitch ass shit is this? With that in mind, I also need to add one more caveat to today's show. Uh, honestly, I think DJ Academics it does bitch ass thing like a school shooter, man not have Myron and Fresh's best interests in mind. The show I'm about to show you right now is in Brooklyn. I believe this was set up. In fact, I know this was set up by DJ Academics because he's been on. Hey, fuck, nigga. I need an apology for that. Since you be acting like, oh, you're the manosphere, y'all all about facts. That was not facts, nigga. I ain't set that shit up at all, nigga. And as I said, when niggas start speaking facts, I speak the ultimate facts because I don't spare nobody feelings. Fresh asked me when I went on flagrant, Act, could you connect me with Andrew Schultz? I did on three uh, on text message, three way, whatever. The, I said, yo, y'all talk. Andrew was on tour. He was not that. He wasn't dying to do the show. He said, I'm gonna get to it after tour. The tour been done. He been cooling. I I told him, I said, yo, listen, man. You know, you know, I fuck with y'all, but like, you know, people still getting new, new to y'all, bro. It's the same thing. If y'all see them later on Vlad, nigga, don't say nothing about me. I made a connect. Vlad allegedly turned him down. That ain't got nothing to do with me, nigga. This is where, like, where I start feeling like me helping is now seen as me manipulating. I'm telling you, the problem ain't me with you bitch-ass, pussy-ass niggas like this dweeb over here. The problem is what you should say to Fresh and Fit if you are so caring and calling them. Bro, this is gonna come with a game. Nigga, the Britney Renner shit, the, 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 the flagrant two shit, any other shit they go on, they got it's a boxing match. You're gonna be you gotta take your lumps and give them back. That's if you wanna be mainstream. If you want everybody to be like, oh my god, these guys are just spitting the facts. Oh, hooray. Like, nigga, you gotta stay in your bubble. What you should do, you bitch ass nigga, is tell them don't go on podcasts and don't fuck with outlets that have no idea and does not empathize or does not accept or not even willing to engage in conversation that could be accepting to your philosophies. If I'm their advisor, I would say, don't go on flagrant. If I'm their advisor, I would say, shit, don't go on 95% of these outlets. Unless you have the suave. Of Kevin Samuels. Kevin Samuels be talking crazy sometimes. When he got with Brittany Renner, bunch of smiles. Kevin Samuels be talking crazy a lot of times. Watch him on, on Joe Budden. Palatable. So for you bitch ass nigga, stop saying that I set a motherfucking thing up like I'm setting niggas up, like I'm backdooring niggas. That type of shit pisses me off. It makes me feel like, wait, hold on. Me over here trying to, and by the way, these are my guys. They help me out too. Yo, and, and this is what I'm saying, like, play this. When, when, I'm, when I'm down in Miami, right? Myron says, yo, yo, Ack. What was it? Myron or, 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 or Fresh? They were like, yo, Ack. Yo, we have Andrew Tate. We just did some shit with him. You want to do an episode for your shit? Because I know, like, you out here need some episodes. I said, yeah, you know, yeah, let me do it. Now, the episode turned out great. Andrew Tate, I love that guy. 
But imagine like it turned out like a little controversial, which you know I mean to some people in my world it might be controversial. Say, I don't know, say Spotify came to me and be like, yo, Ak, we don't like that. You think I could go kicking and screaming to about man I, yo, yo, Mario and Fresh set me up. Now I'm a grown ass man, you bitch. I'm grown. Tell me I'm setting niggas up. Niggas ask for connects, I give it to them. In this industry, when niggas ask for a connect, they don't give it to you because they don't want to fuck it up for themselves. I'm passing the ball. Niggas said Rolo was kind of right and you were simping for Britney. Rolo is a bitch. Cut that simping for Britney shit, nigga. I'm doing business. These niggas, y'all could suck and swallow that red pill, blue pill, and black pill. What I'm doing is hard, cold, cash money. Me and Britney are business partners, nigga. If you think I'm about to disrespect her for some of you lame ass niggas, fuck that. Nigga, I gave her my agent, nigga. She's working with my people. When Britney signed her podcast deal, it's going to be on my shit. Fuck is you niggas talking about? Ain't no simping going on. It's bigger than this shit, nigga. It's business. Everybody, all everybody who Britney sat with, begging her, yo, Britney, yo, you should fuck with us. You know what she said? Ain't none of y'all got the audience and got the reach and got the, the real shit that I got. I said, come over here. Let me let me walk into a few buildings. I'm doing business. You think Brittany want to be a bum-ass nigga with two guitars behind her like this bum-ass nigga with nothing? Ain't nothing about simping because we ain't try to fuck. We ain't try to. We ain't on that with each other. Y'all can think what y'all want to think. I'm doing business. I try to do business with other chicks. One chick, she was getting a fucking bukkake by Adam 22. That's why she's done. That's why I clowned her. Chromas, you for the streets. The other one, this is trees. But this one, this one, and who knows, maybe I get burned. But for what I'm putting in, academics are made man already. If a company say, well, we might take a look at Shorty for a deal if she roll up onto you, because you a big dog over here. You ever heard that before? You a big dog. So when the big dogs say, I fuck with that, they said, okay. They want the big dog. They don't want... These little clowns thinking with a dick, I'm thinking business. If it was a situation where I could walk in fresh and fit into a deal... Of course I do that too. Nigga, I'm a business man. You think I want to dominate the internet for 20 years? I gave up 10 years already of my life for this shit. You think I don't want to come out of this, come out of this on the other side like the biggest boss? Not no peon, nigga. Ain't nobody could fuck with me talent-wise. You think I ain't trying to do that? Y'all niggas still talking about simping, bro. Fuck is y'all talking about simping? Simping? Nigga, you know why I brought Brittany on? Nigga, it's a stash, nigga. I went viral with her the first time. Walked her in a couple meetings. Niggas I'm like, oh, that might be a fluke. I said, right, hold on, I'm do it again. Somebody said, what, what makes Brittany Renner different from Chromas? Well, I'll tell you this right now. We're nearing some situations and Britney ain't crash out like Chromas. We're nearing situations, and she ain't crash out like that. What I'm saying is that with, with, with Chromas, we're trying to make our artists, she starts sucking dick. You fucked it all up now. What are we doing? Listen, some of y'all are young for this. I ain't trying to force, you see, that's a great thing too, you know, salute to Joe. I'm not trying to force Britney on my audience. I'm trying to get Britney her own audience. Her own audience ain't gonna fuck with me. Her own audience, they clowning me too. They think I'm part of Fresh and Fit. 
Yeah, fuck that chipmunk ass nigga, man. That's why we love Britney. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. I'm going to give you Britney. My audience can keep me, and y'all can get Britney. What's the problem? I'm a business man. Ain't no simping, man. Yeah, I see all them cars out there, man. All this, all this shit. I'm, I'm, I'm about to cop another crib. Like I can't keep doing this just off of this. I gotta make business move. I've been too much of a godfather to just be just cool in here. Like, like this dweeb over here. This clown wrote a book, and the only thing he got to show for is two guitars. This clown wrote a book. Only thing he got to show for is two guitars. If he had the boss power and the influence and the talent like me, nigga. He would have said he would have took fresh and fit. And while they were still like young pups with their paws, their claws not even sharpened, he would have said, let me bring y'all to the promised land before y'all even could fight to get there. But he couldn't do nothing. He just left on the sideline like a bozo. Hey, I think this guy is, is not in your best interest. Shut the fuck up. Shut up, nigga. Dumbass nigga, man. <laughs> Somebody said, wow, nah, man, I don't take no disrespect from no clown like this, man. Nigga 75 and ain't do a fucking thing but get two fucking guitars, man. Talk about, oh my God, I don't think it's in your hands. Nigga, shut the fuck up, nigga. What fuck is you doing, boy? Oh my god, I think academics orchestrated that. Nigga, shut the fuck up, you bitch ass nigga. What fresh and fit, what fresh and fit ain't scared to do is what you were scared to do, you fucking punk. They're not down to talk to a bunch of incels and simps all day. Lecture into the fucking choir. You know who they down to talk to? The people who disagree. The people in the mainstream. They down to talk to black women. They down to talk to motherfucking people who are, oh my God, they're blue-pilled. What the fuck? Nigga, man up, you're a grown-ass, bitch-ass nigga now, bro. Fucking clown. Y'all keep fucking around me. Y'all gonna look up. And when y'all seen Act Network got... Whack 100 show underneath it. Brittany Renner, y'all just gonna be like, oh, oh, but I thought he was simple. Shut the fuck up, man. Let a nigga work, man. I don't wanna be Jordan dropping 20 and owning the team, nigga. I wanna be in my prime dropping 60. All of, You know what Brittany told me? Brittany said, act. None of these niggas can get me going viral like you. I said, I'm glad you know. Not one of these other niggas could get you viral like I do. When you link with that, movie, viral, bow. You link with these other niggas? Y'all talking about what, I what you did on my shit. Come on, man. You think I want to be like this dweeb? Look at him. Fuck, fuck, I wrote a book. Oh, my God. I don't think I don't think he's in your best interest. Shut the fuck up. All right, my bad, my man. I'm done with all that. But yeah, I'm not simple with Britney, bro. Like, bro, I, me and Britney, our relationship not there, not 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 like that, bro. Bro, I'm just being honest with you. Like, I fuck with her. She's she's a really intelligent woman. And by the way, if she was doing dumb shit, I would separate myself from her, hundred percent, nigga. I'm, I'm here for me, bro. But nigga, I'm trying to build some shit. And by the way, that also like I'm gonna keep it hundred with you. If you ask me what my vision is, shit, some of these ad companies or whatever that, that you know, been fucking with us, if I could be like, say, an ad broker, an ad provider, or, a or, or or have my sales team work with Fresh and Fit, of course I would do that too. They're succeeding, they're doing good. That's what I'm thinking along the lines of, man. You get this sucker-ass nigga in here talking about, like, snaking people, like, in the best interest. Bitch, they want to be big. They want to be stars. They want to be the niggas. They don't want to be like you, you fucking clown. How the fuck did you write a book and give the blueprint for niggas and the niggas took the blueprint and beat you five days later? You fucking stupid.
Anyway. So as a son, that little niggas, real quick, man. I'm just a little perturbed about that type of situation, man. I'm just such a, I be just trying to, like, I'm over here. I'm trying to give assist. I'm going to tell you another thing, too, chat. Like, I feel like I'm in this new renaissance. Like, I like when, I like when I hear that Joe Button's podcast don't like Fresh and Fit or these Ebros don't like them. I'm not saying I agree with everything they said, but I look at Fresh and Fit and other podcasts like that to be of the newer era. I feel they're more connected to me. And while I don't have to agree with everything they said, I want to see them win. So that's why this bitch-ass nigga has pissed me off. Because my strength only comes from their success. Like I told my simping with Brittany Renner, I want to make Brittany Renner success with my brand being the thing that helped her. You know why? Because at that point, y'all could see my influence. I want fresh and fit. Like, I remember when, I remember when people, like, I don't want credit for fresh and fit. Like, they did their work. But I remember when I first came in the game and I just started bubbling on the screen, people look back at an old interview I did with Charlemagne and they try to give Charlemagne all the credit for me. That wasn't fair. That wasn't real. I did the work. Just like they're doing the work. But it's natural. People are going to connect it to you because it's close. So I think Fresh and Fit success helps me. I think these new podcast success, especially in hip-hop or in the urban sphere, helps me. That's it. I'm think I'm trying to think a little bit business minded now. Y'all see, I got I got plans and visions for this year. I'm trying to you know, like, bro. I'm not trying to go out like one of them niggas who yeah. But l l let's be honest. Other than other than Charlemagne, who's been the most influential nigga in, in, in hip hop media since that? Bro, I I don't want niggas to just give me a pat on the back while pushing me out the door. You know what I mean? So like nigga. I'm putting my hand around these people. I'm trying to help them. I'm trying to help Fresh and Fit that if it was a situation, they'd be like, okay, of course you want to work with Ack. Ack extended every opportunity and every every resource he ever had that we could win. So when I see an old hater like this, bro, bro like you got to understand, know yourself, my guy. Like, I don't Nigga, I've probably been doing YouTube, then you've been doing this Manosphere bullshit you're talking about, nigga. Like, just calm down, dog. And just, and just, and just be careful when you speak on my name, because, like, I've had a reputation of really trying to build something on here for a while, and, like, I ain't going to have a bitch-ass nigga like you just kind of try to play with me. If you're trying to give advice, your relationship with Fresh and Fit ain't got nothing to do with me, but if you're trying to give them advice, just keep that in the vacuum. Don't 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 try to throw me in no mix. I think Axe is Snake... You 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 attacking me at that point? Cause I don't tell him I don't tell him niggas what to do. I seen last night they said, oh, oh we might go on H three H three. If you ask me, I think that's a horrible idea. But they want to go boxing. They're men. It's like when your kid grow up, he want to box. You tell him like, nah, I don't know if you should take that one. These niggas are more experienced. Not that I don't even think. I think if they go debate this H three H three nigga, he ain't about to debate y'all. He gonna bring some feminist nigga and and try to like. Spin the shit and y'all gonna look a little crazy. Another moment where this this is what you don't realize. It'll be like, oh, I tweeted out this clip that made you don't understand. I told Brittany Renner the same thing. I like Brittany. But the internet wanted me to say to Brent, they didn't care. That's the clip they wanted to go viral. I tweeted out other shit from Fresh and Fit, them actually saying shit to Brittany. But that's not what the internet wanna hear. They wanted the moment of a woman of color to stand up to fresh and fit. It could have been the first clip or the last clip. They were going to make that shit viral. That's what the internet want. Right now, if there's a clip of, of somebody slapping me, then me beating the brakes off of them, there could be two clips. They're going to get the clip of me getting, uh, 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 of me getting slapped because that's what they want to see. Like, you, you can't... You got to understand the internet. You an old head, though. You're not supposed to. Yeah, you shouldn't even understand this shit. I get why you don't understand it. You can't manipulate the internet. It's what they want. And at a certain time, they want certain shit. They want it. They want, I, I explained that to Brittany on the phone. I said, Brittany, let me tell you this. They're gassing you right now, but they don't love you. I remember that. 
I felt they used to diss me every day. It's all cheeseburger jokes and this and third. But the moment when I quote unquote sunned you with that shit, they made me the hero for that week. They didn't love me though. They wanted I was just a placeholder of what they wanted you to hear. So I felt like I was the hero. And I so I tell her with the fresh and fit. I say, yo, they don't love you neither. They you're just a placeholder of what they wanted these other guys to hear. It's funny on the internet because hate just get transferred. So I was hated. And he, he, I learned a valuable lesson. The only way, the, the best way to cleanse hate is to sit down with somebody more hated than you. They used to hate me on Twitter. But I sat with Brittany Renner and I seen the power of her hate. And then she got all the hate and they started giving me love. And then course she was feeling bad even though i was telling I'm like yo damn i didn't put these clips out even i told her i didn't put them clips out for you to be embarrassed thought we had a good conversation but of course i'm gonna put the most salacious shit out to bring people in i'm not putting it to but again if we if we got to choose clips on how it makes people look or feel and they're not gonna watch the full the full shit it, it doesn't matter right britney sits down with these dudes and then britney's like oh shit they love me now no Hate just gets transferred. Fresh and fit gonna sit down with some other person who just is vile or some worse than them in the internet minds. And they're gonna say some shit that's clever and it's gonna go viral again. And then they're gonna hate that person more. Hate just gets transferred, my brother. You 79, so you ain't gonna understand that. But don't be speaking on my name like that, my nigga. Somebody said they hate Trump and Alex Jones too. Bruh, that's how, the internet, this internet shit, bro, you learn a lot about it. 